immediate. Well, David Chater joins us now live from Nice. Uh, David, we understand a second person has been detained. What more can you tell us about the investigation as it stands? Well, first of all, about that second person. Yes, a 47-year-old man has been arrested by the police this morning and is being interrogated at the moment. It's thought that he uh, supplied a mobile phone to the knifeman uh, before the attack. Uh, we have no more details than that. But the other details we have are from the uh, chief anti-terrorist prosecutor. Now, he has given us more information about the 21-year-old Tunisian refugee who uh, launched this assault at the basilica behind me. Apparently, he uh, got away to, uh, from Tunisia to Lampedusa in September uh, and then spent time aboard uh, one of the uh, refugee ships uh, in the port of Bari in southern Italy. And during that time on that ship, he had his uh, asylum refused by... Uh, by Italy. So he then disappeared and the next time he turned up was on the surveillance cameras uh, at the station here a few hundred yards away from here before he walked the 400 yards or so to this basilica and launched his attack. So that information has come from, as I say, the uh, chief anti-terrorist prosecutor. Let's hear what more he had to say. Given the nature of these acts committed against people targeted for the sole reason that they were present in the church at the time, also the procedure employed and in particular the nature of the injuries inflicted on certain victims, the National Anti-Terrorism Prosecution opened an investigation on the following charges, attempted assassination and assassination in a connection with terrorist enterprise and criminal association with a view to committing crimes of a terrorist nature against people. Well, that's the suspects and, of course, the investigation, but there are victims uh, at the heart of this tragedy. Uh, David, have we learned any more about who they were? Yes, uh, the eldest victim was a woman aged 70 who was uh, praying in the church when the knifeman broke in.